what do you think of it? It's good, isn't it? It tastes like tablet. Basically. Scottish tablet. It's better than the butter beer. The butter beer here is is different to in Universal, isn't it? It's definitely different, but that it's so good. That is banging. Night bus. It's just like there's more stuff than people. It's awesome. effects. Soda bag shot. I love all this sort of stuff, special effects. More drink, Draco. These little ear muffs. Just love all the different varieties of each one. This sort of stuff just amazes me because it just must have took so much time. Werewolves. It's nightmare fuel right there. Poor Lupin. Oh, this is cool. So you stand on the bottom. On the spot. And then he will make him wave. That is cool. Oh, of course it is, yeah. So yeah, that's, 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 just, that's just an Xbox Connect up there. Stand on, stand on the spot. Yeah. You are one with the Dobby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've broken him. Look at him now. He was once so happy and then you broke him. That's vile, isn't it? Yeah. That is vile. I mean, it's incredible. I keep breathing in that. So they have these display cases. They've got a little motion sensor underneath. So when you walk past it, you can make the move without having to touch anything. Last one. Really cool. The goblin costumes. What Warwick Davis is different ones. Bank teller. Professor Flitwick. And Grip Hook. I like all these sort of things. These are like the models, aren't they? Yeah, you do like these, these things, right? Yeah. God, I'm sorry if I'm boring. I like models. They're just, they're, they're just cool. Look at them. I like all the behind the scenes like, effects. I like the special effect, effects and things like the, 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 the yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just think these are really neat. Ooh. Now this is new. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. It's 
more costumes. A mining run in disguise. Harry and Griphook in the visibility cloak. This is incredible. And again, there's there's nobody here. Absolutely nobody here. This is insane. It just feels like being back at Universal. It does, but minus the like 10,000 people. Yeah, minus, minus the sweat. <laughs> wow. So we've just been in here for a few minutes now, just taking photos and again, nobody else has come in yet. This is just mad, I mean, all the little details. It's just amazing. No, I didn't think there'd be roof bits or anything, no. Well, what they did in Fermi was um, anything above the kind of top ring of the, the kind of middle brass ring of the chandelier, anything up there was digital. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so they did they did build all the way up to most of the top of things, but it wasn't ever as, as finely made yeah. as this one. Yeah. Okay. The beauty of filming is that you know where the cameras are going to go, and so you know what's going to be seen and what's not. Yeah. So it only take them took them kind of six ish months to build it for, for working on the set whereas here it took us 14 months to build this so, it shows though it's beautiful yeah we put we put the work in yeah <laughs> i mean what i love is is the the marble so the marble itself and um, the, the columns are plaster so they're, they're hollow yeah um, and it meant that when we made the slope it was we had to we couldn't just smash it up, we had to physically yeah. construct. Yeah. Because if you just smash the pillow, you just have just load of dust, it, <laughs> yeah. it wouldn't work. It's not like smashing up like real marble. Yeah. Um, and then what the marble effect is, is actually wallpaper. So it's wallpaper that we dipped into a tank of water with oil paint in it, with all swirled, and you kind of dip it and you dry it, and then you, you paste it round the, the columns, but then the way you treat it then is what makes it so special. You, you add a lot of different kind of glazes and washes to it and bring out the, the dark bits and the light bits and, and then you know the second to last thing you do is all of the darker lines that you see the kind of fishes, they're all hand painted and like the physically from the brush. That's mad that is isn't it? And, and a lot of it you know is, is fabbing and things but that's really physically brushed out. and then they put a coat of black paint on the top of it and it But it's just I mean, the, the hundreds of hours worth of work goes in here. This, but um, what else we've got in here is there's quite a lot of like gold around and like coins and in you know, this. This is not real gold. Yeah. The gold bars are not real gold. I'm sorry to black like, gold. But the likes of me wouldn't know, so it's it's, it's fine. But there is a lot of real gold in here. Yeah. In terms of the gold leaf. So you see above you all that beautiful ring of white marbling. Um, that is all. Awesome. Okay. No, it's I'm okay. just filming it. And it's just, yeah, real gold. So that's real gold up there. And brass leaf as well, but 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 also gold leaf, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. The chandelier, I'm really sorry to say, is not real crystal. Um, it's actually polyester crystal. Oh, oh wow. Um, so... But the way they treat them, the yeah. heat treatment, um, polyester. Have the, yeah. Have the same refraction properties as crystal. <laughs> That's nuts, that, isn't it? He's crazy, oh, no. isn't it? He's actually crazy. Yeah. And yeah. What, what they did was because <laughs> above that centre ring was was not there during the building. Yeah. When we rebuilt it here, um, because all of the stuff is kind of was used in films and then mm -hmm. all of the walls and the floor is, is new, we went, oh well, can we have like the full chandelier, not just half of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they built up bigger chandeliers and I love them. Yeah, they're brilliant. There's about 15,000 crystals in the smaller ones. Yeah. The big one in the centre has about 30,000 because go big or go home. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, there's so much. It does sort of hit you when you come around the corner, doesn't it? Like. Yeah. It really does, yeah. Because that room in there is quite like quiet and the little models and that. Yeah. And, and it's kind of the, it, it, it's, it lulls you into a false sense of security. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the props as a general rule are either designed from scratch and built from scratch yeah. or you find them and you buy them and that's what you have or you mix them together. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot, of the, a lot of the time you, you buy something to modify. You yeah. know, you have an idea in your head and you go, okay, we can do this with it. Yeah. Yeah. Or you 
you start off thinking I'm going to design this and build it and then you find it. So like, yeah. um, <laughs> like Harry's um, like beige jacket uh -huh. that he wears from, from after they've jumped off the dragon and, and sure. Hermione hands him clean clothes yeah. and all of that, um, which I think is hilarious. She's so brilliant. <laughs> anyway, they put the clean dry clothes on and he's, he puts this like, weird cord beige mm -hmm. jacket on. They've designed that and then one of the costume team was just out shopping for the weekend and found it in Gap. <laughs> 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 40, for zero. Wow. Because it's such a long sequence, it's like nearly half the film that he's wearing that for. So you need it pristine, but you need it all the way through to be distressed right up till dead. Yeah. You know, and, and properly all of the spell fire, all of the, you know, rips and tears and blood and yeah, rock. And, and so there yeah. are actually four stages of that costume. Yeah, that's um, correct. And there's ten kind of of each stage, so that it's not just Daniel wearing them. But it's also like stunt doubles because there's some pretty rad stunts yeah, that happen in that. Although, quite a lot of it, Daniel Radcliffe actually did himself because he got yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's, when, when you see the explosions outside in the kind of the, the courtyard of Hogwarts, yeah. um, a lot of those explosions are happening and Daniel is actually yeah, like, running like, and yeah. just. He's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. It's just so cool. But you've got to make sure that the, the, the spell damage and the. is. Yeah. Always. So the person that was designing it before they found it in Gap, yeah. how did that person <laughs> feel once they found? I mean, would they be annoyed that they spent time designing, or would they be happy and thought, "Oh, do you know what? They That's my job done." Because they didn't then have to make forty. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, always not not always, but an e if there is an easier, cheaper route, when you, particularly when you're making something so in bulk, I think if it had been something as iconic as say Hermione's dress, yeah. that wouldn't have gone down so well. No. Yeah. But because it's just something, it's just a, yeah. Oh, that's brilliant, thank you. Anyway, we'll let you carry on. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. So we've just had, we've just had like a really long chat with one of the staff. Um, I did film it, so we'll put in bits and pieces, but, but how, good are, how good are the staff today? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like I did I did ask her afterwards if we put it on YouTube and she said it's fine but she's they just, they're brilliant. They love their job, they just love talking it. Like and it's so nice for them to be able to talk to people that are and love know, it as well. One to one almost. It's so good. We had a good a good ten minute chat with her about all these different things with Gringotts and then went on to Daniel Radcliffe doing his own stunts and whatever, but they're just the staff are just brilliant. They are loving it. They are loving being able to have all these one to one chats and not yeah. have to deal with like people touching stuff yeah. and shouldn't yeah, it's, it's just brilliant. brilliant so we'll pop some of that in if I haven't already cabins and vaults shall we, shall we go in watch out for dragons <laughs> thank you <laughs> love a bit of matchy matchy <laughs> <laughs> This is one of your favourite scenes, isn't it? Yeah. The Lestrange Vault. Look at all them goodies. You can see how you're right about there. That's awesome. I love that again, I love the, the skulls, the masks. That's amazing. What do you think of that? Oh my god. That was so good. <laughs> it's so cool it looks just like the other one but it's all mashed up obviously. Yeah that's it. Like, it looks just, just like the proper one. In, yeah. Looks like just like the one we've just been in but it's all smashed up. Awesome. Look at the second chandelier. I can't tell if that's CGI or if it's like 
I just don't know anymore. Oh, I don't know anymore, I'll give up. So I was just saying, we must be near the end by now. I thought that was literally it, but how did we forget about Diagon Alley? Amazing. This green got slow. Look how quiet it is as well. How cool has it been able to walk up here? With just mad, isn't it? I feel like we're just saying the same things over and over again, but it is insane, like how good it is when like, there's no one here. No pushing and shoving. You just get to enjoy it. Enjoy all the details. I hate that puky pasta thing. I know. Isn't it vile? And now we know it, because the lady told us earlier, there's the Mina Lima logo on there that they always add on. It does make you appreciate what a good job uh, Universal Studios have done to make it feel like the real thing because then when you're here standing in the real thing they look the same. It's just, it's just brilliant. art department. Not your favourite bit, is it? It's just models, like little paper. I like the models. models. The models is the seed where the great oak comes from. Yeah, Disson models. Do you like like the concept art and stuff? Yeah, I like seeing the death there. Like what could have been almost, yeah. That's awesome that is. Yeah, All the concept art. Because you've got to remember, all these Harry Potter images that we, we know and we associate Harry Potter, they've just been dreamt up, haven't they? Because coming from a book, there wouldn't have been no nothing to base it off. Does that make sense? Coming from a book, there would have been nothing to base it off. No, but do you know what I mean? Like, someone's no, foiled all up and now we all... Now we all... Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick to my models. The books are all starting, Yeah, but do you know what I mean? They can't, like... They've tweaked some of it. Models. Astronomy Tower. Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince. Dumbledore. Dumbledore took a tumble and was no more. From the Astronomy Tower. I think that's nearly it, isn't it? I think we've just got one more bit to go. Around this corner. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice. Hogwarts after the battle. Hogwarts after, after the battle. Oh, no Neville though. Save the day. No. Doesn't get to be in the picture. <laughs> wow. That is. We are running out of words today, but it's, it's beautiful. What a way to end the tour. I've like, seen it before, obviously, but it is just breathtaking. It's freaking Hogwarts. I mean, I'm definitely repeating myself, but what do you think of this Hogwarts castle? Mrs. Who doesn't like models? This is, this is different. <laughs> this is allowed. This is allowed. It's actually got colours and stuff. Yeah. That's it's stunning, isn't it? It's just absolutely stunning. There's just so much detail to it. All the way around. It's just, it is just the perfect way to end the tour. And there's Dumbledore's office at the top. Right at the top. Dumbledore's office right at the top. There's the bridge. We ran on earlier. I think when you look at people's photos as well, I know I've been before, when you look at people's photos, it looks quite small, doesn't it? You know when you see it like... Yeah. But it's not, it's, it's, it is huge. This used to be the bit that everybody would say, don't tell anybody the end, don't spoil. Yeah. And 
Well, I was the same when I first came here. I didn't, I didn't know. I knew, I knew there was a model of it. But I didn't know this would be the end. I didn't, I didn't know anything at all. I was completely blind. Completely blind to it. Yeah. I just, I had no idea. But then I couldn't see any of it because there's that much many people. Yeah, exactly. And now we get anywhere. to just <laughs> mosey round and and just enjoy it for the spectacle it is. Yeah, I like it. The lights change, don't they? And it turns to night time. Like I know full well we've just been repeating myself all the way through this video, but it is just that is just stunning. The amount of the amount of work and effort that's gone into all these things, and then this is just the cream of the crop. And that's it. That's it. After the shot. I spend some money. So the tour is done. And now we're going to rinse the shop because the shop here is. How good's the shop here? It's so, good. so good. And the butter beer. The butter so beer. That's Mina Lima that's designed the, the, the artwork on the, the butter beer. It's not focus. Oh, there we go. They've finally. Allowed to sell it in bottles. After years, been able to sell it other than the back clock tour. Yeah. Okay, the back clock cafe. cafe. Yeah. <laughs> um, because they couldn't even take it and sell it in the cafe at the front. No. They said, no, you have to, it can only be in the back block cafe. So they went through loads of legal stuff. To be able to get and sell it. To be able it. to even just put it in a bottle. So we'll have a look what else we want, but that's coming home with us. And there'll be a few of us. I'm sure we'll do a haul video maybe because I'm going to get some stuff here. This place, just like the rest, just like the tour, to be honest, it's just insane. Right, yeah. So much, right, put the camera away because I need to do some shopping. Right, well, that's us done for today. It's now eight o'clock. We went in <laughs> at uh, four, just after four. So full four hours in the tour and then in the store afterwards mm -hmm. to the point where the staff were following us out the store because they were closing off room by room. We were the very last people out there. We were the very last people in the car park, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's been the best day ever. It has been incredible. I know we've said it over and over again in the vlog, but it was so quiet. Mm -hmm. um, there's like no one here, like little pockets of families maybe, but like ridiculously quiet. And, all, yeah. and you just had the time to look at everything and read everything and really take it all in. Yeah. Um, there's parts where you're literally the only people yeah. in the whole like, Room. set. Yeah. Yeah, it I mean, was just we, amazing. We spent a good 15, 20 minutes in the Gringotts um, area and mm -hmm. there was no one else in there. And we spent 10 minutes just chatting to a staff member. I mean, the, the staff have been, how good has the staff been today? Yeah. Amazing, absolutely amazing. They clearly like love their job and now they get a chance because it's so quiet. Mm -hmm. They'll come up to you and start talking to you and they telling you all these facts. Like I said, the woman in Gringotts especially was, was there for like 10 minutes yeah. um, telling us all sorts of stuff. It's, it, and it just makes it so much better. It's it's just been brilliant. Gringotts especially, mm -hmm. compared to the Forbidden Forest, mm -hmm. it's just, it, it's mind blowing. And it's it's a full set, it's a full section rather than just the, the little part that the Forbidden Forest um, yeah. is like, it, it's amazing. amazing. Even the Forbidden Forest, so that was new for me. I'd never seen it before and we were the only ones in there. So mm -hmm. as we were going around there, whoever sets off the the effects or whatever it was happening just for us mm -hmm. so that was really cool and so we got loads of nice photos and like i said i'm not quite sure how the vlog will turn out because it's quite hard to show you everything at the same time without being like too boring you really need to just come and see it yourself especially yeah. at the minute while it's so quiet yeah because it's never going to be like this it's again. never and once... it was never anywhere near as good as no that. so you were booking six months in advance beforehand mm -hmm. whereas for at the an minute... experience that was just half of what you're probably getting you're no. getting more you have to wear a mask but so what like it's worth it yeah for that full um in depth i mean the only thing that wasn't it's almost one-to-one -one. it's like a private yeah tour. it was almost like a pretty it did yeah. feel like a private tour for the only thing that you can't do you can't go on the hogwarts express anymore but so but you can still go into private drive which yeah. i think is really good You're still going to private drive they could have just easily shot that as well and they didn't yeah so. a lot of the um touchy things are still there like because um, you don't touch it it's actually motion sensor yeah yeah it's motion sensor so, so you just press yeah. it you move your hand in front of it but, um and the, the broomstick's still there the the photo ops are still there yeah yeah um the carriage the hogwarts carriage is there where you see the the 
clothes there and the outfits and stuff that's still mm -hmm. there um it's just it's been, just so much better it's just they should just cut the capacity all the time yeah yeah it was just amazing but i mean it's it's cut capacity but at the same time people just aren't turning up because she was saying you can book on the day they mm. had room today to come so if you've ever thought about coming to the warner brothers tour you have to come if you love harry potter you have to come because it is at the minute mm -hmm. as good as it gets it's absolutely stunning the whole way around and now's the time to go out of the yeah. yeah yeah now's the time but yeah so we've had the best day ever so apologies for the lighting at the minute we are in the car park lit up by yes. uh mobile phone <laughs> uh but yeah it's it's been a brilliant mm -hmm. brilliant day like, i cannot wait to come back already so thank you for watching if you've enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up really helps out our channel and remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the other fun stuff we've got coming up and we will see you soon bye, bye.